Good morning, viewers, subscribers, Kingdom Saints, and everybody else in the world. You know, uh, one of my favorite scriptures is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. What does this mean? This means my faith in Jesus who gives me power, who gives me authority to trample the enemy's head every day with my feet, means that I can do anything in God's will. Anything. You know, it's been many times where I'm evangelizing and I get evil looks. I get people who want to hurt me. You know what I'm saying? But I do not fear them because we don't have the spirit of fear. The Lord gave us the spirit of love and power, not timidity. It's been many times where people threaten my life. It's been many times where they came up to me and said, if you don't stop preaching, I'm like, and what? You can't override God's authority and power. You're not stronger than the Creator. What are you going to do? And um, I live by that scripture every day because there's nothing in this world that can stop me from doing God's will because when God has a plan and an outline for your life and He tells you to do things, you do it. No questions asked. Just like um, um, Noah, who ran away from God. Ran away from God. Ran away because he was scared to preach to the to the sinners. So he ended up inside of a well. So he had to go to hell. But the Lord brought him back. You know what I'm saying? The Lord brought him back. There's nothing in this world that I won't do for us, for my Savior Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I do anything to him who strengthens me. I've been through the fire already. I've been through the fire. Because Jesus, the Lord said we have to go through the fire. That's, uh... Going through the fire means being put to the test. Because we're going to be hated. We're going to be persecuted. But you got to be resilient. You got to walk in power and authority with Christ Jesus. Because through him you can do anything in this world. And nothing can stop you. Because scripture says God will not let anyone abuse you. God said... Do no harm to my anointed. No, touch not my anointed and do no harm to my prophets. If you look throughout all history and scriptures, the prophets, the kings, the judges, those mighty men of God who walked in obedience and did his will and obeyed him were the most feared that's why they tried to kill them all. They were the most feared because they had the ultimate, sorry about that. They had the ultimate power and they had the mightiest general. Amen. They had authority and if God gives you authority, nothing can come against that. So yeah, when that guy opened his jacket and told me to leave and he flashed his gun at me, I didn't stop preaching. I didn't leave. I didn't show fear. I prayed for him. 30 minutes later, the police came and I thought they was coming to tell me to turn my speaker down or, or cut the speaker off. But instead, they walked right past me and arrested that man who flashed his gun at me. 
Hey, I already knew that that wasn't anything out of but God doing that. God took him out of my presence. It's been another time where I was preaching with Sister Joan, the fire lady in Columbia Heights. And this one guy really didn't like the gospel. The demon manifested in him. And I was looking right at him when he pulled out his knife. And he wanted to stab me and Sister Joan. So I got in between him and her, I put myself in between him and her. I said, you need to walk. You need to. I didn't put my hands on him. I said, you need to walk. We, we will pray for you, but you need to get away right now. And he saw that his plan was foiled because he tried to sneak up on us. But I was, the Lord gave me the vision. And when he was standing right there where the drug boys always stand, he put his knife back in. 20 minutes later, I don't know if somebody called the police or not. 20 minutes later, the police came and not only did they confiscate the knife that he had, he had about, what do you call them, sacks. He had a lot of weed in one of them Ziplocs and they took him away. So I already have seen the power and the glory of God Almighty working in our lives and protecting us because he sends us angels to protect us. That's why I love that scripture so much. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I don't walk in fear. You know what I'm saying? You can't be a coward and a Christian at the same time. You can't. Because God does not like cowardice. God wants mighty, mighty men and women of God. Mighty soldiers in God's kingdom. You gotta have your boots on every day. You gotta lace up them boots every day and wear your armor of God, which is gonna save you from everything this world throws at you. You hear me? Amen. That's why I don't walk in fear. I, I go out by myself to preach the gospel or not anymore. But if my colleagues, if my fellow evangelists drop out of the race, I'm going to go out and do it by myself all over again. I ain't got no problems with that because I don't live for me. I live for Jesus. It's, it's not about what I want. It's not about my will. It's about God's will and what he wants. Amen? Am I right about it? So uh, don't forget to subscribe to other people. And I hope this message edifies somebody today. Listen to it while you're at work on your lunch break, why don't you? Thanks for watching.